Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about Windows 10 and answer a few questions that I actually have received and that come back pretty regularly. So I'm going to answer the most popular questions of all about Windows 10. And if you've got your own, why not just write a comment and ask away on this video and I will try to answer the best I can if um, you know I don't answer your question in this uh, Q&A. So the first question, where do I get Windows 10? Well, first of all, Windows 10 is still in a preview form. So it's not an official release yet. The latest release is called Build 10074. And it's uh, really showing Windows 10 slowly progressing towards a release. Where do you get this Windows 10 if you want to try it out well all you have to do is go on the Microsoft website in the insider program so you just go to insider.windows.com and you'll be back to the insider program all you have to do is create an account and download the image files that are available for download. So insider.windows.com it's free and you will be testing the latest version of the build. Now, word of caution, this is unfinished software. There could be bugs, there could be problems. It is not an official release. So I really, really don't recommend anyone install this on a regular day-to-day -day machine that you will be using all the time that can be a problem so the best thing is to either do a second partition and install in a dual boot environment or maybe you have an old PC lying around that you're doing nothing with it why not install the preview on that and try it out it's uh, pretty surprising it works even I've, I've got a few uh, viewers that actually told me they've installed it on an old Pentium 4 and it actually works so it's very very surprising and uh, so you can try it maybe on an old PC. Why not? Then the second question is when is it going to be released? Windows 10 from the inside a lot of people actually seem to agree and Paul Tarot and Mary Jo Foley that I watch their uh, respective blogs seem to say that pretty much uh, the news they get is that it's officially released at the end of July. Now we Microsoft itself says summer so they're giving probably themselves some kind of you know period where they're gonna launch somewhere in there but apparently end of July is what a lot of people agree upon. Now what does that mean? We're not really sure since we don't have anything official, but um, it could be full release of Windows 10 and everybody that has Windows 7, Windows 8 will be able to move there. It could be OEM release end of July, meaning that big companies like HP, Acer, Lenovo, uh, Dell will get their versions of Windows 10 for uh, install on their new hardware but the consumer could be later could be August or maybe early September so that's where we're at and we're not really sure as for the price every Windows 7 user every Windows 8.1 user gets Windows 10 for free for one year. So you've got one year before you decide to get it or not. Um, a lot of people, you know, in the Windows world, that's uh, pretty often done. A lot of people wait for their official release and wait six months, seven months, eight months before just to know, you know, if it works well and to, to have everybody's upgrade comments. Uh, and that, of course, is a safe bet, you know. But if you want it for free, you'll have to do it within one year of release date. And it's good for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users. 
Now, don't go and running and trying to find it. It's still not released, like I just said, either um, end of July or somewhere this summer. Another question I get is, will I lose my files, my programs? Well, the files and the folders that you create with documents and pictures and stuff like that is going to be kept while the upgrade process goes on. On programs, I've noticed that the upgrade seems to keep a lot of the programs that are installed. But you can't really, really say that all of the programs will still be there. Uh, it will depend probably partly on compatibility between Windows 10 and some of those pieces of software. As of yet, and as of the test that I've done on my Windows 10 uh, Insider Preview, it really seems that Windows 8 compatible software and drivers seem to work quite well in Windows 10. So that's uh, interesting because it means that compatibility between both systems are quite good for now. And uh, while upgrading my different previews, I've noticed that my programs, for example, this screen recorder that I'm using, actually goes on version after version and it still works well. So I think that's an indication that um, things are going well for keeping pretty much everything when you'll upgrade. Where it might be a little more touchy is on Windows 7. There are known incompatibilities between Windows 7 software and Windows 10, Windows 8.1. So these incompatibilities will remain probably in Windows 10 because it is pretty much the same core of Windows 8 um, in certain aspects. So Windows 7 users might have maybe a little harder time moving to Windows 10 and keeping the software to use. But as for the files and the folders and the pictures and the documents, all of that's going to move along fine. So um, that's going to be okay. One of the things that I think everybody should do personally, and I'm not really sure how it's going to be done right now, but you know, if you're moving from Windows 7, Windows 8.1, I think it's always better to just, you know, erase everything and reinstall fresh new copy of Windows. That's what I'm going to do on my Windows 8.1 machine that I'm using right now. I'm going to erase everything and reinstall Windows 10 like a new operating system. Now, whatever you are using as an upgrade process, a clean install or not, really back up everything. Of course, if you format the drive and reinstall for Windows 10, you'll want to back up everything because you'll lose everything. If you are on Windows 8.1 or Windows 7, even if you choose to upgrade to Windows 10 to keep the files, still back up because you never know what could happen. And, um, you know, even though the upgrade will probably go fine, there are still chances when we make big changes like those that you can lose files. So that's very important. Will my computer be, you know, powerful enough to run Windows 10? Well, I can tell you Windows 10 is very, very uh, a s slim in its usage of computer power. So I can tell you that Windows 7 users and up will have probably no problem upgrading an older machine into Windows 10. If you run Windows 7, uh, pretty much Microsoft says, you know, Windows 7 and up users will all get Windows 10 to work quite well. Um, so it means that even if your computer is five or six years old and runs Windows 7, there's um, a good chance you'll find Windows 10 works quite well and uh, you'll not really need any R hardware upgrades for it to work. And in fact, if you are on Windows 7, Windows 10 actually runs faster and much, much smoother than Windows 7. So if you find that your Windows 7 machine is a little slow, you'll find a Windows 10 machine will probably be faster and crisper when it works. Um, Windows 10 is amazing even on old hardware, so uh, that's pretty cool. I've actually installed the oldest machine I have that I installed Windows Technical Preview right now 
is an old Core 2 Toshiba machine that is about seven years old. And I can tell you that it works very well. So it um, gives you an idea of even old machines will run Windows 10 quite well. Um, as for those that have pirated versions of Windows, um, you know, there's kind of a debate there. You're going to get it, not going to get it. Well, yeah, you'll be able to upgrade. They're going to let you upgrade. But you're not going to have a free Windows. Uh, from what pretty much everybody says, you will get a Windows version that is going to give you like 30 days and you'll have to buy it. So uh, anyone that told you that Windows, you know, pirated versions of Windows will upgrade fine, it is not the case. You will have to pay for Windows 10. So um, these are the most common questions last question probably that a lot of people ask is uh, will Windows 10 um, actually work as well and will Windows 10 give me a start menu uh, these are other questions yes Windows 10 will work to very well probably on pretty much all machines like I said and will I get a start menu? Well, yes, you'll get a start menu that is an hybrid start menu. It will give you back the programs folder and all of that like before. But it will also give you apps in the same menu. And for those, because I get a lot of those comments that say, well, you know, I don't want to have apps. They're going to be there and you can you know, just remove them from the start menu and customize it with your own programs and that's it. The desktop mode works really well. It's actually very good. I actually like it a lot. And you know what? Apps are the future. And um, I think apps are great because they're much easier to install and uh, much easier to use most of the time. So, uh, you know, Windows 10 will bring both worlds into one unified world where it's going to be much better. And you know what? If you have Windows 10 has one promise that Microsoft will try to do is unify everything. There's going to be something called universal apps, meaning that if you have a Windows tablet, a Windows phone, and a Windows computer, they're all going to synchronize in the same way, have the same stuff, have the same tiles, have the same programs, have files, you know. Uh, it is amazing because I already am testing that out and it's pretty interesting to see it in action and have everything work you know you change your background in one in your tablet your background is gonna sync to your phone or to your desktop so it's uh, really nice and uh, as for pricing official pricing there's no word yet for people that you know want to buy a copy of Windows 10 uh, there's still no word of how many versions and uh, what type of uh, pricing will have on the Windows 10 uh, boxed versions and uh, downloads. So uh, these are the most common questions. You um, have one of your own that you want to ask, you can put it below the video. If I get uh, you know a lot of interesting questions, I can also make probably another one in the future talking again about Windows 10. And as we, of course, know more of Windows 10 as time comes by. And um, please ask away. It's uh, free and, you know, you can get some uh, clear answers to whatever you uh, might have of a question on Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any common, uh, comments, please leave them. Maybe you have uh, something with Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows, whatever, that you need to uh, have a uh, answer to. Let us know. We'll try to post a video online. And this channel will, of course, continue in the future. That's one question that I get sometimes. Um, even though it's called Official Windows 8, this channel will continue into the Windows 10 world, of course. And uh, hopefully, um, everybody's going to keep on watching videos that uh, hopefully help you in using 
your computer. Thank you for watching.